Sugar detox? Absolutely nothing. It's just a shiny object I keep throwing out there to get your attention so I can give you some life saving information. Today I want to talk about sugar and concrete. I know, strange, uh, interesting uh, connection there. Terrible connection. So here's what I want you to know Have you ever seen one of those sidewalks? They're called uh, exposed aggregate where the little tiny pebbles, nice smooth little pebbles are exposed. Well, the way they do that is to put the pebbles in with the concrete and they pour the concrete. And then once it's freshly poured, then they spray a solution of, wait for it, sugar water on the concrete and it eats down the concrete to expose the beautiful little pebbles. That's how they do it. So in our sugar detox center, we got to thinking if sugar water will eat concrete, what would it do to a child's brain cell or an ovary or a pancreas, whatever. So we approached an inspector in the construction industry and asked him about this. And he said, oh, well, no, 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 sugar doesn't eat concrete. The official term in the industry is that sugar retards concrete. I'm going to say that again. Sugar retards concrete. And every time I see a baby, I, I, I play my harp in an elevator in Las Vegas a block from the M&M store and I see thousands of obese infirmed people in wheelchairs and children in strollers just shoveling in the M&Ms as fast as they can swallow. Now, I love M&Ms too, but I know what they do to our body. Not just M&Ms, any concentration of refined sugar products that cause the body to require more minerals, more water, more energy than they bring to the table to get it out of us before it harms us. And we're not very successful at that. Obesity is sugar harming us. Diabetes is sugar harming us. Uh, mental illnesses are sugar harming us. And I know I'm gonna get attacked on every level. Bring it, bring it. It's time we talk about our junk food eating mentally ill president and, and all the people in our country that are going down the same path. I was barreling down the same path till it almost killed me. So I have a right to talk about it. I was bulimic for 16 years before I beat my food addiction. So even though I'm the skinny chick in the room now, I get to talk about obesity and food addiction. And I co-founded the first sugar detox center in the country and I saw extraordinary miracles with schizophrenia, ADHD, diabetes, all kinds of Alzheimer's, you name it. We are what we eat, and this substance is killing us and driving us crazy. So, back away from the chocolate. See you next episode.